hey my loves welcome back to my channel so today will be a review of this beauty by Eddie powders which i love so much if you like what i think please keep on watching so i've gone ahead to do the rest of my face um i've gone ahead to like do my foundation i've not done my brows but I'm do i've done my foundation my highlighting and my contour um for these powders yeah i've been testing them since probably september like when i started my youtube channel so that was like september last year i started testing out these powders and i'm so happy to finally be able to show you guys because she has worked so hard on it that's the ceo of beauty by ad and i've helped her to like to make sure the powders are smooth to make sure that they are up to standard like they are competing with other eye high other high-end powders out there so the powder is really sleek and it comes in like this um, packaging first i've not broken the seal of this one and this is how it is when you open it it comes in four shades guys it comes in four shades and pretty much if you're any skin tone you should find your color here so this is how it looks um it's so nice i don't know if you can see that packaging is so slick beauty by a they always gets it right with their packaging so this is the the quality the, the container it looks so good like and then when you open it tada can you see i love this this black velvet sponge you know it looks so bougie like when you're doing someone's makeup and you just place it or use it to apply the powder i'll use it to apply i'll set my face one of these powders today so i'll use it to apply that powder today so there are four shades like i said this one is tawny all right it's on the screen for you this one is amber and it's like a yellowish like um similar to the shade of buttercup powder by sasha and then this one is the translucent one the, sh the name is lucent and this one is similar to the laura mercier very very similar when i was testing it i was actually comparing the two of them and then this one is beige this one is the darkest shade so i don't know if you can see the difference between the two of them let me show you the the, the one the two darkest shades can you see their difference so pretty much you can get any skin shade like for makeup artists that does so many clients this could work on really deep skin tones as their highlighting shade and then this for like medium dark skin tones then this one is transparent so you can use it on anybody basically and this one is the buttercup shade so these are the shades um the four of them yeah so beauty by ID did that <laughs> so for this demo today i'm going to be showing you guys I think I'll use I'll use beige to set the whole of my face and I'll use Tony to set no not Tony. I'll use amber to set my under eye and lucent. I'll show you guys the both of them. So so that you guys just get to see how it looks and how it feels and all of that. I'm still gonna do my brows, so let's just ignore that part. So guys, the first shade I'm going to be um, demonstrating for you guys is lucent and I'm using it with the beauty blender. This is the one I used to do my face, so that's why it's quite um messy but then i've gone ahead to like open up that plastic packaging there and then this powder is so smooth let me see if i can show you guys like it melts i don't know if you're supposed to swatch powder but it melts like it will blend in so seamlessly yeah but i'm going to use that now i'm just going to dip my beauty blender into it you can use a dry beauty sponge for this so before i blend it out i'm just going to before i place i'm going to blend out the creases that might have formed underneath my eyes and on my eyelid too if you'd like to see my full face routine you can click the link here i'm going to leave a link here for you guys though either part of the screen for that full video where i do like my highlight and my contour in depth i'm just going to take that powder and obviously i'm not going to teach you guys how to set your face <laughs> but i'm just going to just set my face with that powder i've been using this powder and then most times you guys will be asking me what are you using what are you using and most times i just like reply you a smiley that is like smiling or i just say something random but today you guys get to finally see the powder i've been using i get to share it with you guys so i'm just setting my lid because you already know the drill for eyeshadow i'm going to be recording a another tutorial after this one so i'm going to do it 
products like compared to this side you can use less products on this side if you don't like the whole baking um, technique and then this is it just blended out can you see how smooth that is it's that's it just blended out. i just used little you saw the quantity i used so if you don't like the whole um, baking technique it's so smooth like can you see the way it melted into my skin like butter butter <laughs> i don't know how to be extra like all those people sure well i'm excited about this powder you know when like you're really dark and then you're struggling with like your powder leaving um ashiness or flashback or all of that if you use these dark powders they won't give you that effect you have it will blend into your skin the way mine is blending into my skin like for a light skin you know lighter skin and medium skin and between medium skin i'm not completely like deep dark so if your skin tone is like deep dark on the darker spectrum then these powders will be perfect for you to set your under eyes with i'm also going to use one of them to set the rest of my face so yeah i'm going to use this shade it's called um amber and i'm going to be using it is the can you see how creamy that looks i don't know if powder is supposed to look creamy but it looks very yummy and i'm just going to set underneath here Can you guys see that even with the whole um what's it called even with the whole yellow um the way it's yellow the yellow tint it's not super like ashy on the skin it's still melting in as i'm placing it you saw the way the translucent one set it without any color it was it was very set but it wasn't having any color coming through this one has more yellow coming through i really love these powders like no jokes when i first tested it there were some that still needed work and she put in work she put in work she's one of those nigerian brands that don't buy her makeup items from online like from dh gate and aliexpress you know those brands i'm talking about so i'm going to take this wedge please forgive it and i'm going to take that powder and to set my nose in that straight line there if you ever wonder why your nose is not your nose contour doesn't look straight it's because you don't focus the powder i've just seen people just place the powder everywhere carelessly that's not what's going to help you what's going to help you is placing that powder placing that powder on that line exactly that's what's going to help your ministry I'm going to try and use these four powders for you guys today so you can see how all of them looks. This puff, yeah, it's so cute. Like, you know when all those like pro makeup artists they just put you know you're not supposed to be touching the person's skin, especially after you've done the base before the eyes. Imagine just placing this on the skin and just doing it just it's so bougie, like doing the eyeliner and all of that. I see myself using this a lot. And I'm setting my eyelid also. You can even extend the goodness up to your eyebrows. I've not done my brows yet, so why not, right? It's going to help keep it matte more and help make sure oil doesn't come through. These powders, they, they look so luxurious. Like, the packaging, man, beauty by AD. Kudos to you. So this shade is Tony, and I'm going to be, I don't know if you can see it, I'm going to use it to define my contour, like underneath my contour. Like I said, I've already done my cream contour beforehand so that it will like save time for this video. But I'm going to leave a link of the video where I did everything down below in the description. So to set the rest of my face, I'm going to be using beige and I'm going to be... It's the darkest of the shades and I'm going to be using that to set the rest of my face. I'll be using the puff now. If you know Patrick Star, this is how he sets his makeup. So this will help lock everything in place. Can you guys see how smooth that is? Can you see? Oh my goodness. Like, when I was using these powders, I was so amazed. Even when I, was, I used it on my clients too. And it was so nice. Like, can you see what that powder is doing? Oh! Oh my god. Looking like a million bucks. This powder is amazing. Guys, guys, no, let me come closer so you can see. I hope this thing is focusing. Can you see what that powder has done for my life? But this sponge, this puff is not even like those normal ones out there. This one is soft. 
like it's helping me blend this powder into this makeup so well can you see it's blending it it's not even sinking into the puff it's blending everything to my face so i'm going to take in some of that beige powder in my brush and i'm going to be blending everything together with this brush now so that i get like a seamless finish of all my highlight and contour and bubble tea bubble guys all my powders are going to rest because like i think i found my new favorite you know when 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 i was testing it out like i had i finished my test out i think twice that's how much i love the powder but when the testers got finished i had to wait for her to finish production but now that i've gotten it you'll definitely be seeing more of this powder on my channel wow you can see how smooth my face looks overall i don't like my highlight and my contour too pronounced i like my skin to still look like me and i and these powders helped me achieve them so this is the finished look guys i hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial i really love these powders and i hope you try them out and let me know what you think comment down below if you're going to try these powders they'll be launching soon and they're for 7k each um so yeah I, I really love the way it make, looks, it made my skin look really flawless and I really love the outcome of this powder. So I'm recommending this powder, it's a yes from me. I recommend this powder, try it out, get a shade or two or all four of them. Again, I can never have too much powder, especially if you're a makeup artist. I'm going to see you guys in my next video and I love each and every one of you. Bye guys. Mwah.